three years ago, I quit processed sugar. As a nutritionist, I do so much research. And when I read a statistic that in 2009, half of Americans were eating half a pound of sugar a day, which equates to 180 pounds of sugar a year, I was devastated by that fact. And it becomes as no surprise that sugar lends to the obesity epidemic in our country. But also, sugar sits around our waist, and abdominal fat is one of the leading causes of chronic diseases like heart disease, high blood pressure, and so much more. So what I try to do with my clients is first, put them through a 30-day detox so they can dissipate their cravings, and then second, introduce more whole, natural food sweeteners, like agave nectar, maple syrup, coconut nectar, dates, even applesauce when you're baking. So today I have three of my most popular naturally sweetened recipes and I'm gonna show you my top sweetener choices. The first recipe today is chocolate cherry chia seed pudding. And the biggest misconception is sweets are made for just dessert because I have this at breakfast. I keep all of the ingredients low sugar, meaning I use hemp milk that's unsweetened and unflavored and use vanilla extract to flavor instead of flavored milk, which is key. Raw cacao powder, chia seeds, of course, organic cherries, and then a little bit of dates. So date is our sweetener in here, and dates are a fruit, so you're not using powdered sugar or processed sources. All you have to do is put it in the refrigerator overnight after blending it, and you're done. So perfect for breakfast. Our second recipe is an avocado-based chocolate mousse. And whereas you may, see, may have seen tons of these recipes out, ours is unique because we add matcha powder and spirulina, hence it's truly green color, to get more energy in there and more protein. So sugar is just an afterthought when you're actually making this recipe. And I use coconut nectar, which is a natural source of sweetener in that recipe as well. Our third and final recipe is our ever-famous APL Pattaya pudding, and you can tell it's actually got the color of APL, so bright pink is my natural color. And the best thing about Pattaya is it's actually a super healthy fruit on top of having natural sweetener in the recipe, so you're getting so many more nutrients on top of having a little sweet craving for your sweet tooth. So in that recipe, we use maple syrup. There's so many different sweeteners out there that you can use for these recipes, and I promise all of these recipes are so easy because they're literally blend and go and eat. So it's one of my favorite things. Keep it easy, keep it nutrient dense, and keep it low sugar. Another quick tip about cutting sugar out of your diet, if you don't have time to make these fantastic puddings or any other sweets on the APL blog, is to try something that's naturally sweetened, like a decaffeinated tea. We love Republic of Teas. They actually have a tea that's called vel Red Velvet Cupcake. I drink it at night when I have a sweet tooth and I don't want to put anything in my mouth. Or organic frozen cherries that are in your freezer. You just pull them out, pop two or three, and that should satiate your sweet tooth. So the seven all-natural whole sweetener replacements that we have here today include dates. Don't forget to remove the pits when you're blending those because I've broken many a Vitamix on those. Coconut nectar. You want to have 100% pure source and it's better if it's unrefined. We have maple syrup. Again, always going for the pure 100% sources. Agave nectar. It's really important that you don't buy the light, you buy pure agave nectar. Bee-free honey. For any of you vegans out there who want a sweetener that's just like honey, if you go for bee-free honey, you're being friendly to the animals. Then we have pure raw honey. Raw honey is better than processed honey, and you can melt it before you actually use it in recipes. And then applesauce, which is perfect to bake with. I love using applesauce for baking, and it also tastes good to have in the house on the side. So if you're ready to quit sugar, we know you can do it. Go to ashleypettitliving.com and email us through our contact page.